Let's give one more example of calculating the average daily balance. Keep in mind we're using the same interest rate of 2% per month and that 2% we found was 0 0.02 as a decimal and we'll need that later in the problem. This one is most of the month of February. So when we start our dates and then the number of days and then we're going to have the balance at that time. And then we have the sum of those dates. Let's get started from February 5th till the first time something happens on February 14th. So 14 minus 5 is 9 days in that category. And our balance starts at $218.55. So for those nine days, we have a total balance of $1,966.95 if you add up all nine days. Our next category is going to start on February 14th and go to February 17th. So 17 minus 14 is three days. And on those three days, on February 14th, we purchased something. So we're going to add $84.65 to our balance. So adding $84.65, I get a new balance of $303.20. So for three days, a balance of $303.20 is going to total $909.60. From February 17th to the next date something happens is February 22nd. So 22 minus 17 is 5 days in this category. And our balance was $303.20. And at the start of it, on February 17th, we return something, so we're going to subtract $27.48. So subtracting, our balance is going to go down to $275.72. So for five days, at that balance, we get a total of $1,378.60. We're going to go from February 22nd to March 2nd. Okay, I think it's easy to, easiest just to calculate and write out the days. So February 22nd, February 23rd, the 24th, the 25th, the 26th, the 27th, and the 28th. And then we have March 1st. Remember, March 2nd goes into that next category. So if we calculate, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight days in this group. And our balance was $275.72. And on February 22nd, we make a payment of $150. So we're going to deduct $150 from our balance for a total of $125.72. So for eight days, at that balance, I get a sum of $1,005.76. Now we have one more row to work on, and that is March 2nd to the end. And the end of the billing cycle is going to be March 5th. But remember, we can calculate the number of days by calculating how many days were already used and knowing that in February, we should total up to 28 days. So if we have 9 plus 3 plus 5 plus 8, that totals 25 days. So 28 minus 25, there's 3 days in this category. And our balance was $125.72. And on March 2nd, we're going to purchase something. So we're going to add to our balance $49.29. 21 cents. So if we have a balance of $174.93 for three days, that totals up to $524.79. Now let's get the total 
of all of our 28 days. So adding up these circled items. And I get a total of $5,785.70. So to find our average daily balance, We're going to take that 5,800, excuse me, $5,785.70 and divide by the 28 days of February. And when I round, I get $206.63 for our average daily balance, Part A. To calculate the finance charge, we're going to take that average daily balance times our 2%. So our 2% is 0 0.02 of is multiply and our average daily balance we just calculated was $206.63. So we find a finance charge of $4.13. And then at the end, we can either take the 174.93, which is the updated balance and add our finance charge or we can go through all of the purchases that happened. So we started at $218.55 and we added $84.65. We had a return, we had a payment, and we had a purchase, and then we have our finance charge of $4.13. So all of this should be the same as what we end with on the balance category of $174.93 and then adding that finance charge, the amount that's due or our updated balance is going to be $179.06.